Hello everyone, today I am going to read, Bunny Hopwell's First Spring. Snow was everywhere. Snowflakes were dancing in the air, blowing into squirrel holes, and drifting down rabbit burrows. Bunny Hopwell did not mind the snow. He had been born just before winter started, and he supposed that a snowy world was the only kind of world there was. But one day his mother said that everything would be different when spring came. Spring. It was all the squirrels chattered about, all the chipmunks chirped about, and all the sparrows twittered about. Down in the rabbit burrow on cold winter evenings, it was all Bunny Hopwell's family talked about. Spring. Bunny Hopwell could listen no longer. He flapped his ears. He stamped his feet. Who is Spring? He shouted. The Hopwell rabbits could hardly believe their ears. Who is what? They cried, tumbling over each other. Who is Spring? Bunny Hopwell asked again. Then all the Hopwell rabbits smiled. Of course, they said, he's too little to know. He's never felt Spring. He's never seen Spring. Mother Hopwell saw little Bunny Hopwell's ears growing pinker and pinker. Hush, she said to her family. Come here, little Bunny Hopwell. She made room for him on her lap. Spring is beautiful, Mother Hopwell told him. Spring is warm, Mother Hopwell went on. You'll love spring. After that Bunny Hopwell thought a lot about spring. The more the snow fell, the more he thought and the more he wished spring, whoever it was, would hurry up. How would spring come, he wondered. On a sled like Farmer Green's boy. Or in a station wagon, like Farmer Green. No, said Bunny Hopwell's mother. Spring will come in the air. Spring, said Bunny Hopwell's father, will push up through the ground. How will I ever wait? Bunny Hopwell sighed. You must practice your high jumps, said Father Hopwell. Because when spring comes, you'll want to jump over the garden fence. Now winter was almost over. Farmer Green's boy put his sled away. Farmer Green got out his rake. The air grew warmer and the days longer. Not long now, squealed the squirrels. Spring's almost here. Spring is just around the corner, sang the birds. Well, said Bunny Hopwell, I'm not going to wait one minute longer. I'm going out to meet Spring. And off he went straight down the path, past the barn, and into the woods. And there in front of Bunny Hopwell stood a big furry animal, yawning and stretching. Please, said Bunny Hopwell, are you Spring? The big furry animal looked way, way down at little Bunny Hopwell. No, he roared. I'm there. But Spring's here. Must be. Only reason I got up. Thank you. Thank you very much, said Bunny Hopwell, and he ran off down the path. Over by a stream Bunny Hopwell suddenly saw something very blue growing up out of the ground. He sat down gently and sniffed. Hello, he said quietly. Hello, Spring. Silly, laughed a voice above Bunny Hopwell. Those are violets. Bunny Hopwell looked up. Sitting in a tree was a bird with a fat red breast. Are you? Bunny Hopwell began, but the bird said quickly, I'm Robin. Who are you? I'm Hopwell, Bunny Hopwell answered. Pleased to meet you, Hopwell, said Robin. How do you like spring? 
Bunny Hopwell wiggled his ears crossly. That's just the trouble, he said. I can't find spring. Can't find it! exclaimed Robin. Why, Hopwell, you're right in the middle of it. What? squeaked Bunny Hopwell, jumping up in the air. This green stuff. No, no. Robin laughed. That's just grass. Good to eat, though. Try some. Bunny Hopwell carefully took one nibble. Um? Bunny Hopwell ate and ate. He forgot all about spring. He ate until his sides were bulging. Then he curled up and took a nap. When he woke up, the sun was high in the sky. The whole world smelled of violets and fresh grass, and the songs of robins were everywhere. Bunny Hopwell was happier and happier than he had ever been in all his life. He didn't know why, he just felt that way. Still wondering about spring, Hopwell? Robin said, dipping down from a tree. Well, said Robin, spring is in everything. You can see it in the warm sun and the fresh green grass. And you can feel it inside of you. We all feel it. The violets come up in the spring because they feel it. The bear wakes up in the spring because he feels it. And I spread my wings in the spring and you wiggle your ears in the spring, because we feel spring, too. Spring looks good and feels good. And it smells good, too. Who? Said Bunny, burying his nose in the grass. Now do you know what spring is? Asked Robin. Bunny Hopwell's eyes grew bigger and bigger. Oh yes, he said breathlessly. Oh, thank you, Robin, he said. Now I'm going home to tell my mother. Lickety, lickety, lickety he ran through the woods, under the gate, past the barn. He slid to a stop in front of his burrow. Mother Hopwell was out sunning herself. Mother, mother, cried Bunny Hopwell, panting for breath. I found spring. And guess what? He said. I know now why spring is called spring. Look? Bunny Hopwell squatted on the ground. Then, spring. He jumped clear over the garden fence. And, spring, he jumped back again. See? He laughed. Springs for springing. All the Hopwell rabbits laughed, too. Because they knew Bunny Hopwell was right. And because it was fun to watch a little rabbit in his first spring. The End don't forget to subscribe for more stories. Thank you for watching.